Let's go, baby. I can't wait until these robots replace these normies. Everyone hates Tesla. Let's get active. Is much more terrifying than we thought. Here's what happened. Since the introduction of Optimus Gen 2, Elon Musk's ambition for it has been immense. At this point, it seems to have truly begun to make an impact by being ready to replace 10% of the workforce that's been cut for Tesla factories. It'll accomplish at least 100 different tasks within the factory through an unprecedented breakthrough, which could be considered the largest. You might think this is an exaggeration, but only with this upgrade will the entire game change. So how is Optimus the game changer for Tesla? It's not wrong to say Tesla's plan to lay off more than 10% of its global workforce is a timely opportunity for humanoid robot Optimus to step into the factories to perform tasks ranging from simple to complex. Most recently, Elon Musk has announced an update for this humanoid robot, which we believe to be the largest to date. By the end of this year, Optimus is poised to receive 20 degrees of freedom for its hands, doubling the current number. This Ooh, look, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Not only does Elon and Tesla have actual real-world application of artificial intelligence and not just in the LLM, right? Not like a chat GPT that's like a Google 2.0, Right. That if you say, hey, give me 10 interview questions, it just gives you 10 interview questions. But besides that nonsensical stuff, it has FSD supervised. OK. And then now what we have is real world robots that are actually going to be put in the workforce. That's different, man. Boston Dynamics, they're having robots out here do cartwheels for a little bit too long. Like I didn't seen robots do the Macarena and do backflips and go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I didn't seen it too much like give me some applicable robots that are going to be useful like what's up with the utilization i'm tired of seeing dog robots like man look at this dog robot it's a dog robot and it's gonna be it's gonna be you know construction site surveillance in the site like and it never happens like stop the cat right and those dancing robots don't show up they got no brain like they do have the physical component like the hardware but they don't have no brain them robots saying about to do nothing now, here we go. Optimus is actually in the factories right now doing things, completing tasks, right? And so please take a task out of the hands of a normie. And guys, if you're on the assembly line and you're stacking batteries and you're mad because the robots are coming to take your battery stacking job, come on. You should be happy. Go get a better job, guys. This information has been confirmed by Tesla's owner on X. But why does Optimus's hand have five fingers? The five fingers are designed to give Optimus as many degrees of freedom as possible. Although almost everyone is familiar with the concept of degrees of freedom, if this is something new to you, here's what you need to know. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot can execute. For humanoid robots, degrees of freedom... Man, why they on to stop with advertisement? Nobody care, bro. Let's go back to the robot include movements at various joints throughout the robot's body, similar to the joints in the human body. Currently, the Tesla bot has 11 degrees of freedom in its hands, but it is capable of performing a wide range of tasks that the manufacturer has showcased, such as folding a shirt, arranging eggs, and handling the 4680 battery. It See, there we go. There we go. Handling the 4680 battery. Like, look at that. So if that's your job, and it's going to be obsolete, like, come on, rest assured that there's a lot of things out here in the world that you can do, all right? Go save the albino snow monkeys. Go join the Peace Corps. Go join the military. Do something that's more beneficial that the autonomous robot optimist can't do right now, okay? But your ba battery stacking job, y'all guys don't need to go crazy in the newspapers talking about, man, I used to love that job, and it's hardworking battery stackers like me that keep the world turning. Like, <laughs> jobs get deleted okay there used to be a lot of operators that would connect people and they would take the wire and put it in one point and put it in another port and then once it was digitized the operator and system you don't need that anymore so jobs get obsolete all the time so don't trip go save the planet do something all right it's so good to make nvidia senior research manager and lead of embodied ai gear lab jim fan note that optimus hands are among the best five-finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only six to seven degrees of freedom, and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. Yes, we were wrong to underestimate Tesla Bot because it is receiving a lot of updates to get closer to the name Humanoid Robot.
Maybe you don't know this. Human hands have 27 degrees of freedom, and we can do everything with our hands. So the most interesting question right now is if Tesla Optimus has 22 degrees of freedom in its new hands as Elon promises, how perfect is that going to be? Of course, it'll do two-thirds as much work as a human, but first, let's see how it'll replace 10% of the workforce. The clearest evidence that Optimus can replace human labor in Tesla factories has been vividly demonstrated in the latest video presented by Tesla. While it may not be groundbreaking, it's at least useful enough for it to start working. The humanoid robot is currently performing basic tasks in the factory, including sorting 4680 batteries into trays. To accomplish this action, Optimus primarily relies on the end-to-end -end neural network embedded in full self-driving technology. So why does Optimus require this neural network? Certainly, an end-to-end -end neural network is crucial to the extent that without it, the Tesla bot would become a waste. The end-to-end -end neural network allows all operations. Oh, the end-to-end -end neural network. See, this is something that Boston Dynamics does not have at this level. I'm not saying they don't have it at all, guys, but a lot of things is pre-programmed. But also, at the end of the day, they don't have this superior intelligence, this brain, psychophysical. All right. So when you move your body, it's physical and psycho. It takes the operating system, which is your brain normies, and then the physical, the body to move. It's one and the same. Okay. You think and you move. All right. It happens so fast that you don't think it's true. And some of you guys don't even think. So therefore, it's hard to understand. But net net, the FSD is going to replace. The robot on four wheels like a car into the humanoid robot, and it's going to be real world out here. We're going to be getting it. So the neural link, right, is the key, right? Vision, vector space, intermediate features, explicit planning and control, neural network, planner, and then steering and then cell. And so once again, you just change the body of the machine. So it could be on four wheels like a car. And then it could be on two legs like a human. Boom. Operations of the Tesla bot to be handled by the neural network instead of being encoded by programmers individually. Similar to the Atlas robot, a robot that's been discontinued by Boston Dynamics. This is the first time Tesla has deployed this tech in its software. And fortunately, alongside EVs, Optimus has also integrated it. Currently at the Tesla Gigafactory, the process of arranging 4680 batteries and then transporting them to other areas for packaging is still 100% carried out by human labor. However, as we have seen, Optimus is fully capable of performing such tasks to reduce the workload of human workers. Even when the 4680 battery cells are quite heavy, weighing approximately 335 grams a cell, the robot can still manage this because it's been leaked that it has the ability to carry around 45 pounds. In contrast to previous introduction videos, this time Tesla particularly emphasizes the robot's ability to autonomously complete tasks, especially those tasks existing within Tesla's factories. The evidence lies in the video where it demonstrates the capability to fold clothes. Though intriguing and innovative, upon closer inspection, it's apparent that behind it, there are still many wires and it seems to be actively controlled rather than operating autonomously. And everything has changed significantly this time. Optimus only takes seven seconds to arrange a 4680 cell into a tray without being controlled by any wire. See? So there we go. And so I think the new metrics, at least going forward for, let's say, these robots will be a metrics not by a job title, but by task. How many different tasks can they complete? And so I was reading the article by Tony Seba, and basically he was just rattling that off like it's going to be task orientated. So how many tasks can it complete? Not necessarily a job, right? You, you wouldn't call them like a factory floor lineman or a woman but it's going to be what task can it complete and that will be the metrics but i think the humanoid form is a good form because we outfitted the world in accordance with our physical body our humanoid body our actual human body so therefore if you have a robot that can replicate it it could be very flexible and diversatile in that type of environment because that's how the world is built out and this is kind of like the same premise that Elon has with full self-driving, right? It's just like, hey, man, we have eyes. And so for an actual machine, it will be a camera. And we use a neural network, meaning our brain, to drive. And so therefore, cameras should solve the equation. But there's a debate going back. LiDAR and radar needs to be thrown in there also. But again, that's for the experts and the people out there in the battlefield that's actually doing it to actually figure out. Me, I don't know, but hopefully somebody figures it out. And if Elon's wrong too, and it actually is LIDAR and, you know, radar that can be implemented, I think that he'll be the best because he's really good at pivoting. 
And so other companies are not very good at pivoting. You know, he was wrong about how to have a factory created by the machine, the machine that builds the machine. He was wrong about that initially out the gate. And so he said, like, hey, let's just make everything a robot. And then he found out in production, like there's just some things a human is better at. And so he had to scale that back and he put it on a tweet and said, I was wrong. And so I think he's good at redirecting once he's like, all right, the evidence is back. I'm wrong. So if that ends up being the case for, for self-driving, he will redirect. And a lot of other people don't have that skill. Your wires are operators. A tray includes 30 slots and Optimus needs at least three minutes and 30 seconds to fill it up. It can be seen that it is much slower than the speed of a human, but Tesla is still improving the speed for its robots. Something we're confident will significantly reduce the time with 22 degrees of freedom on the horizon. But the key question remains, is Optimus really perfect without flaws? In reality, both robots and humans are prone to encountering issues and errors during work. The crucial aspect is the ability to self-correct the errors they cause. Humans can quickly rectify mistakes, but for Optimus Robot, this gets more complex. Therefore, to truly replace human labor force, Optimus needs to have the ability to self-correct like humans. And fortunately, Tesla has achieved this in its latest announcement. When a 4680 battery cell deviates from its position in the tray, Optimus doesn't require much time or effort to rearrange it. This demonstrates the robot's ability to recognize errors, failures, and tasks, and resolve them autonomously. Let's take a similar task, such as painting Tesla cars in the workshop, for example. If the paint color isn't specified, Optimus can adjust the paint color itself or pick up any dropped screws. All of these possibilities open up promising prospects for the future of automation, and everything is worth expecting regarding the feasibility for Optimus. In the latest video segment, Tesla demonstrated that the Optimus robot utilizes cameras, tactile sensors in its hands, and force sensors to gather data about the surrounding environment. In reality, the head of Optimus isn't entirely hollow but it has fewer components to avoid exceeding weight limitations, which would pose difficulties when the robot rotates its head. The company also revealed that Optimus has undergone testing at one of their factories and human intervention has gradually decreased as Optimus gets more refined. And you could see it, it definitely is getting more refined. If you see it right here, I mean, come on, man. Them robots before was looking like, looking like a clown thing. <laughs> Those are some terrible robots, man. Look at these guys, man. They look crazy. They look wild, my guy. Like, if we could zoom in, there we go. Look at these robots. These these robots look crazy, my guy. So once they started to switch it up and what it looks like today, I mean, not only when it comes down to design, it's way better, but, of course, its actual abilities, it, it has increased also. Why will Tesla produce more Optimus robots this year? Milan Kovac, the senior engineer responsible for developing Tesla's bots, revealed that the production team has constructed more bots for his group to work with and collect AI data over the past few months. We've seen quite a few Optimus Gen 2 bots available in the testing facility, and they are in the process of learning to perform various tasks. Some are arranging batteries, while others are stacking items onto shelves, with a total of around 20 units. This year, the number is definitely expected to increase by at least 500 units as the manufacturer is in the final stages of mass production. Musk has hinted multiple times that the cost will be $20,000. We believe this is a price point that Tesla may not achieve for many years because there's a considerable skepticism given that the Tesla Cybertruck was introduced in November 19 with a starting price of $39,990 and currently has a starting price of $60,000. get to the Yeah, and of course things have changed. So yeah, the price will change. It's not a set price. So people got to realize that. We should only wait and see the final outcome. Musk claims that Optimus will cost less than half the price of a regular vehicle to produce. And then most people, once again, guys, you, you and I are privy to this information from front of CEOs because they just don't talk. And I prefer an open line of communication if it's up to me, because as an investor or just somebody in the market, I can kind of see where they're going. And as far as Apple, I don't know what the heck they're doing. I know they're making iPhones, but what's the next step? You know, and I have to speculate. Is it fitness and wellness? Is it data management on health? Like, I, I don't know for sure because Apple doesn't disclose any information like that. They're just like, wait until we unreveal something. And so that's just how they style and how they do things, probably. So normies don't skin them alive when things don't come in, as they said three years ago, that they were going to come in and be like, oh, you're always lying. And so net net, maybe that strategy actually works. Shout outs to Tim Cook, uh, Tim Cook. What do you think about all this? In essence, the ability of the Tesla bot to move smoothly within an office environment further demonstrates its potential for flexibility in a complex large-scale gigafactory. The speed of movement may not be crucial. What's more important is its ability to navigate correctly and avoid collisions with any machinery, equipment, or humans inside. I think that is the key. Woo, man, that robot's going to come out. It's going to get sweet. I'm going to cop one of those robots. We're going to shoot hoops. We're going to play tennis. That would be lit. Imagine that.
right? Playing tennis with the robots and everything. Now, in the next video, guys, on Everyone Hates Tesla, I'm going to show you how bad y'all hate Tesla. But y'all love NVIDIA, right? So since y'all love NVIDIA, the big homie CEO Jensen from NVIDIA said, yo, Tesla's the best out here. Tesla's winning. It's a way it's my thing. And FSD is beating everybody else. And the reason I'm showing that and the reason I'm going to talk about it in the next video when we talk about FSD and the progress and the update is because a lot of y'all normies don't believe when it comes out of the lips of Elon Musk. So let's skip Elon Musk and let's hear it from somebody else who everybody's riding his coattails now, right? Y'all on his coattails, right? So, all right, he's a better CEO. He don't got Twitter. He's okay, clean cut. He go to church. He a Christian. He a Mormon. All right, man. So since you love him <laughs> and his style of being a professional CEO, then listen to what he got to say about Tesla. Well, Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars. Um, but every single car someday will have to have autonomous capability. Uh, it's it's safer. It's more convenient. It's more more fun to drive. Wait, wait, hold on. What? What do you say? Well, Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars. Um, man, let's go, man. A big homie had to speak truth to ignorance. And I'm pretty sure Normies is going wild in the comment section, right? They they super mad. And I know the anchors got mad too, because why? Everybody loves to hate on Tesla like a boy. Besides him and besides me and everybody who hopefully rocks with my channel. But if you don't like Elon, Make sure you show up for our live streams, man. While everyone hates Elon, I do live streams so we can talk about Tesla. Anything that Normie's got to say in the comments, they can come up here and interact with TV. But net net at the end of the day, those guys who are on the line doing the batteries, watch your back because the robots are coming. Yeah, everybody hates Tesla and almost America. But I love America. Shout out to the greatest company and shout out to the best African American, Elon Musk. Shout out to the African American, Elon Musk. <laughs> Building the Wakanda. <laughs> and shout out to the USA. Let's get it. See you in the next video. <laughs>